Hi, y'all. I'm Joe, a 21-year cannabis consumer and pot nerd. And I am here to incorporate cannabis for wellness education and community, community building in this five-minute cannabis class. Now, before we get started, remember that cannabis doctors, nurse practitioners, and experts like me are here to provide you with information so that you can make your own autonomous decisions. All vertebrate species have an endocannabinoid system whose main function is to create homeostasis or balance into our lives. It affects important aspects of our everyday experience, including appetite, mood, pain sensory, and immune system function. THC and CBD are the two most popular cannabinoids. And as we age, our endocannabinoid system declines, which is why cannabis is so great for us as we mature. The cannabinoids that we receive from cannabis work best in harmony, it's called the entourage effect, and they offer a multitude of medicinal benefits. Um, as you can see, it's kind of complicated, so I created an on-the-go resource guide that I pulled these visuals from. You can get it on my website. So terpenes are the essential oils of plants. So when you smell cannabis, you're smelling those terps. And just like in aromatherapy, each terpene has its own medicinal value. If you can learn to identify the terpenes by their smell, then you can fine tune your cannabis selection process. So if you've got a nose for wine, you'd be great at this. So limonene smells like citrus, linalool smells like lavender. You get the idea. So now let's dive into some particular cannabis for wellness. Cannabis not only soothes agitated Alzheimer's patients, but it provides a improvement in quality of life. And research is actually showing that it's slowing the progression of the disease, and in some cases, even reversing the effects. We all suffer from stress and anxiety in everyday pieces of our life. And fortunately, cannabis is a natural mood enhancer. And so if we microdose cannabis, it is a healthy alternative to addictive pharmaceuticals and drinking too much booze. So arthritis is the leading cause of disability in the United States. And topical cannabis applications work wonders for this. It helps with localized pain relief and joint stiffness. And cannabis is a more potent anti-inflammatory than anything that you're gonna get over the counter. So this is a bit of a touchy subject, but if you're a parent looking for ways to help your autistic child lead a peaceful, happy, healthy life, I really encourage you to reach out to a cannabis medical doctor and find different potential treatment options. So cancer treatment with cannabis is one of the most widely accepted uses of the plant. It provides a quality of life benefit through the painful process of chemo and radiation. And one thing that people don't necessarily know is that cannabis has the potential to shrink cancer and tumor cells as well. Cannabis works wonders on our metabolism, and it can be a great tool in a diabetic's medical kit. Cannabis compounds help control blood sugar and inflammation and increase circulation. And fun fact, regular consumers of cannabis on average have a lower body mass index than those of you that don't. I'm 41 and I've used cannabis, like I said, for 21 years. <laughs> so most of you have probably seen at least one of the viral videos online showing a caregiver giving a sublingual dose of cannabis to a patient having a seizure and seeing that calming effect within minutes. CBD-rich cannabis is providing hope and relief to children, adults, and even pets. The anti-inflammatory, antispasmodic, pain relieving, and neuroprotectant qualities of cannabis make it a great wellness tool for patients suffering from multiple sclerosis and other movement disorders. 
There is a British drug company, it's the very first of its kind, that created a drug called Sativex, and it is an oral spray that helps with muscle spasms. So cannabis is nature's oldest pain reliever, and it is a proven anti-inflammatory agent. And with an opioid epidemic plaguing our nation, cannabis is a safe, holistic option to discuss with your doctor if you are a daily user of prescription pain medication. Sleep deprivation is a slippery slope and can lead to serious health risks. Cannabis encourages relaxation, it eases the mind, it lowers our levels of anxiety, and ultimately leads to regular sleep patterns. So, this is a really fun one if you're a woman in the room. Regular cannabis use can delay the onset of menopause. CBD is a powerful antioxidant and neuroprotectant. It also decreases bone loss and slows breast cancer tumor cell growth, and it works wonders on PMS symptoms. So now that I think about it, men in the room, you're probably excited too. <laughs> There are three keys to having a positive experience with cannabis. Mindfulness, microdosing, and your willingness to experiment. So choose what you're going to do mindfully, microdose, start low, go slow, and be willing to experiment with different products and strains and track the data of your experience so that you can find your sweet spot. And if I've piqued your curiosity at all, you can subscribe to Casually Baked, the podcast on your favorite podcast app. Thank you.